What we want to do for you guys right now is we're going to just pop this egg out of here. What's it look like on the inside? And then we'll talk about what to do with it next. Let's give it a little pop. We got something today that if uh, you're new to chickens, you may have not seen yet. If you've had chickens, you've probably seen it. This is something that I thought I might go over with you guys and just kind of explain what's going on. Oh, all the girls are around me today. Does anybody else's chickens follow them all the time like this? I will admit, I have to cheat. <laughs> and they follow me around so much because I do like to give them what I call pocket treats. Sorry, they just love it. You guys didn't come to just watch me throw treats to the chickens. What you did is wanted me to explain what's the special thing that we got from our chickens today. That is the magical shellless egg. You can see I'm allowed to squish it, and that's not normal. No shell on this egg. Probably wondering, should you worry? Not quite, at least yet. So there's a few things that come into a chicken laying an egg without a shell. And for us, this is only the second time it's happened. They've been laying eggs now for about two months. I think two months, close enough. And the reason why we're not worried yet, and this being our second egg that has no shell, the reason we're not worried is that it's a process sometimes for chickens to start learning how to lay an egg correctly. And when they're young and they're just starting to lay, which we may even have one that hasn't started, and maybe this is this hen, they are just, their body's working on the process of how to lay an egg correctly. And sometimes it doesn't work. Just like anything else, your chicken may not be working, just like a utensil or a tool or a machine. Our chickens have all these mechanics inside them that need to work right in order to produce shell for their eggs each time. And they're still figuring it out. Uh, we're not gonna take it to the store and return it. Our chicken's not broken. Our chicken just needs to figure it out. Another reason you may get an egg that has no shell at all is that your chicken laid the egg too fast. That can happen from being scared or just for some reason they quick the process up, lay the egg too fast, forgot to produce the shell with it. And I'm guessing one of those two reasons is why we got this egg. Now what you're wondering that if it's not one of those two things for your chickens, maybe you've had them for a few months, six months, they've been laying eggs. Now you're starting to get a few shells that are like this. Is there something wrong with your chickens that means because they've been laying, so why would they start laying an egg like that? I would say there's two main reasons why there is at least some kind of worry for you if you're having some shellless eggs. The first thing being, you're starting to get these eggs more and more and more. They're starting to either be where the shell is super thin and it's breaking inside the nesting box, or when you're just trying to hold them, they break very easily, or they don't have any shell, like this. So if that's the case, then yes, you should maybe start to worry a little bit about what's going on with your chickens. Second thing is, is like I just stated, if they've been laying eggs for about six months, to about a year and now you're starting to see this, that's another cause that you might want to look into it and try to use these kind of tips that I'm going to state of how to fix that problem. You're starting to have all these shellless eggs and you're wondering what am I going to do? What's going to happen? I don't know what to do. There's a few things you can. You trying to find out whose feather that is? Who's the missing feather? Oh, you found a feather too? So, the good thing about chickens is that chickens can solve their own problems. Oh, isn't that right? Unlike you, we gotta try to solve all your big problems. All right, see you later, boy. So chickens can fix all their own problems when it comes to why they're laying shellless eggs. One, their body figures it out. That's best case scenario. Or secondly, what the chickens can do is the eggs that they produce, the ones that are producing the good eggs with shells, they're producing shells because they have a good calcium into their diet already, and their body is able to process that and work it out right. So what you do is, the chickens that are producing the good shells for you already, and they have great eggs, you're gonna use those shells after you're done cracking an egg like you're cooking for breakfast or however you're using your eggs. Keep those shells, let them dry out, on your countertop for about 12 hours. I say a half day just because it's easier to just crack them, leave them, forget about them. After they dry out, you're gonna put them in a jar, 
smash them all up into small tiny little pieces and what you can do then is about every other day every third day sprinkle a little bit into their feed not all your chickens are going to need it but it helps get calcium just throughout the whole diet for all your chickens and it's not really wrong for them to have a little bit of extra calcium in their diet some people say to free choice them which is good too chickens will know when they're low on calcium themselves and they will know when to get that eggshell so it's not like a chicken's just going to go eat a whole bunch of eggshells if it didn't need it your chicken will know if it needs to supplement into that calcium for their diet so you can always free choice them a lot of people do that with oyster shells and what i found is that the oyster shells that you buy from the store are still a little too big and the chickens kind of ignore them so doing the smashed eggshells has been a lot better for us but the good thing is we haven't really had that big of a problem like i said this is only the second time this has happened with one of our eggs so we're not in any rush to feel like we need to force calcium into their diet so we keep all those eggshells smashed up in a jar we let it pile up right now and we only put it into their food maybe once a week at this moment just so that calcium is getting into their diet so that you know that it is but their feeds also supplementing that we also give them black fly grubs which is more calcium than mealworms so they get enough calcium, I'm not really afraid of it. That's why I think this one time is just a fluke. You weren't doing shallow eggs, I know. You are very good. You are a good layer. So now I know what you're wondering. Now you got this shallow egg. What's it look like on the inside? Can you eat it? What are you supposed to do with it? Should we go answer those questions, Sonny? What do you think? Should we go check? Should we go see? I gotta go see. Can I put you down? Who found this egg this morning? I did. Yeah, and what'd you a, what'd you think when you saw it? I saw when I was like, is that egg cracked? Oh, it, it oh, is it still there? So I picked it up and I was like, oh my goodness, I cannot put this in my pocket. <laughs> and so I just keep holding on with my other hand, locking it up. And I needed to use my feet to control the chickens, because you know the chickens will, you know, like all they follow you. Me. Like crouching me to the chicken, so I was like, oh my goodness, I can't put this in my pocket. <laughs> what we want to do for you guys right now is we're going to just pop this egg out of here into this bowl so you guys can see what's inside it. See, if does it have a yolk like normal? What's it look like on the inside? And then we'll talk about what to do with it next. Oh, Let's give it a little pop. Oh. Oh. Post normal yolk. That is not a normal egg. <laughs> That's just yolk. Yeah, that, you are correct. For uh, This one doesn't really have any white in it, which is kind of different than the last time it happened. Last time it just looked like a normal egg when this happened for us, but this just looks like straight yolk. <laughs> now the said it just looks like... And now the question is, you look at it, nothing looks wrong with it, right? So you wouldn't worry about wanting to eat it, and some people, they still end up eating it. The only reason I would advise about not eating these kind of eggs is the shell is what helps protect the membrane and the membrane helps protect your yolk, you know, just all your layers of an egg. And the shell is really important because the membrane is porous. So if there is any kind of bacteria traveling around in your egg or anything like that, what's gonna happen is it's going to get into your egg a lot easier through the membrane portion of it and that's why the shell is so important. So although some people will choose to eat this, we would not, um, just in case, we wouldn't want to get any kind of extra sick or anything like that. So this just becomes a treat for the chickens. And I'm gonna just put it on the ground right now while no one's looking and see what happens. Oh! He's evil! Oh, what was he in? Coming in, I'll be ready! Oh, he's evil! Oh, he's evil! Oh, he's When I usually, when I put an egg in there for them to eat like that, I usually try to just crack the yolk and let it land onto the ground like that because I don't want them to see the eggshell and start seeing their eggs and go, that is a delicious treat. A yellow sun, a yellow sun is gone. The yellow sun is gone? Yeah, the sun is so sleeping. The sun is sleeping? Yeah, I'm so sleeping. So what, now what comes out? Yeah, I own coming out, but I still no thinking. And we'll have the moon? <laughs> so overall don't worry about shellless eggs um, it usually doesn't mean a too much of a worry about your chickens health uh, just worry about the calcium a little bit if oyster shells free choice work for your chickens go ahead do that it didn't really ever work for ours so the crushed up eggs work perfect we're able to smash them up small enough just throw it into their feed 
And because it's not a major problem right now with shellless eggs for us, or even thin-shelled eggs for that matter, our eggshells have worked out and they've been just fine. If your eggs are turning out just fine, there's no really necessary to throw in extra calcium. Your feet should have calcium in it, and if you're giving them good table scraps throughout the day, they're probably getting enough calcium in their diet already. So we just use it as a precautionary thing, maybe just in case in the future. And now that we've had one that just happened today, we'll look into it, make sure that it's not a trend that's happening. Um, obviously, since it happened today, we just went and sprinkled a little bit of the eggs into their food so that if it was a problem, that we're going to fix it. But we ain't worried about it yet, so you guys really shouldn't be either until it starts to be a thing like every single day you're getting a shellless egg. You girls getting ready for bed? I know. You guys are going to get ready for bedtime. Should I do a head count? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Who's missing? All right. We have all nine. Well, I think that's a night for us. It's getting kind of late. Just thought I'd do this quick video for you guys after we got our shellless egg today. And I figured that, I remember the first time when we got our egg, we started searching and seeing, oh, what's going on with our chickens? Is that okay? This seems weird. And it looks pretty normal, huh? No worries. Milo doesn't have many worries in the world. It'd be fun to be a dog, wouldn't it? Hope this video helped answer any questions for any of you that had a problem like us the one time and you're like, oh, what's going on? We have a shellless egg. And uh, don't worry too much about it. Try those things that I said if you need to help fix it. But other than that, um, just play the course and I'm sure your chickens will be just fine. So, oh, no, they won't. All right. Hope you all have a great day and we'll see you guys in the next vlog. Milo, say goodbye. Say goodbye. Peace out, homies.